Hi, I'm Dana Gould. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. This is it, ladies and germs. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Famously, the Citizen Kane of bad movies. But this film is 100% eminently, consistently entertaining. So really, is it bad? Written, directed, and produced by Edward D. Wood Jr. under the title Grave Robbers from Outer Space, the film stars Wood's friend Bela Lugosi, who had previously starred in Ed Wood's Glen or Glenda and Bride of the Monster. Wood famously shot some silent footage of Bela Lugosi for a future proposed film, and then when Bela passed away, he took the film and worked it not so subtly into the body of grave robbers from outer space, giving the title an ironic twist. The mysterious, the unexplainable, that is why you are here. The film also stars Gregory Walcott as Jeff Trent, the whitest sounding name in film history. Why don't you name him Alabaster Caucasian? Walcott went on to have a pretty healthy career. He was in Steven Spielberg's Sugarland Express, as well as, of course, Tim Burton's Ed Wood. The film also stars Tor Johnson, who came to acting through wrestling. Myla Nurmi, billed as her alter ego, Vampira. She was the very first TV horror host. She was also close with James Dean, Elvis Presley, and many others. Criswell was famous for his Criswell Predicts column, and he appeared frequently on The Tonight Show. Dudley Manlove is the alien commander Eros. He was a radio announcer and an actor, and he gives a great performance. You try talking about Solaronite for 10 minutes and keep it interesting. And last but not least, Bunny Breckenridge as the galactic ruler. He was a drag queen and a burlesque performer who met Ed Wood through their mutual friend, Paul Marco, who plays Kelton the cop in the movie. The film is famous, of course, for its bad direction. Scenes go from day to night and back again, as film critic Catherine Coldiron wrote, it's a film that brazenly shows what not to do at every decision point. So much so that the Medved brothers bestowed Plan 9 with the Golden Turkey Award for the worst film of all time. But the magic of Plan 9 lies in its sincerity. Again, I will paraphrase Catherine Coldiron. It's not a bad movie. It's a bad movie that thinks it's doing great. 